This old RV is brought to you by people that are into fixing up their old RVs. Okay, today I am going to be replacing the gasket on my RV toilet. It's not holding water. Now, the toilet in my 2002 Mountaineer is a Sealand Traveler uh, model 2010. Well, in 2002, Sealand was bought out by Dometic. So, I'm going to be using a Dometic gasket kit. It comes with two gaskets, a thin gasket and a little bit thicker rubber gasket. And I have shown the uh, model in the in the video. Now, your toilet model may differ from mine. So, you can go online and you can actually look up the several different models that they make. And by the measurements, you can figure out which model you have. Or you may be able to find it if you still have the original documentation for your RV toilet. This is the toilet in my 2002 Numar Mountaineer. It's a Dometic toilet model 2010. Now, it, the documentation that came with my Numar says it is a Sealand. Well, Sealand was bought out by Dometic back in 2002. So if you have an older RV, you may have the old Sealand documentation. You can look your toilet up online and they have several models. You can determine the model of yours by the dimensions. Uh, you just have to get a tape measure out, measure it, and look at it, and then look at the several models to figure out which one you have. Now, the problem I'm having is this isn't holding water, and you need that water to keep the fumes from the black tank getting up into the cabin. So I have to pretty much dismantle this toilet. I have to take the foot pedal off, take the cover that's around the pedestal off, disconnect a steel steel band, pull two plastic plastic sleeves off and lift the toilet off and then I can get down to the new gaskets that will need replaced. So this isn't too bad. I'm going to have to remove these two screws and this will allow me to pull the cover off of the foot pedal. Once that is off, I'll be able to remove the plastic cover. All right, we're going to use the Phillips on the drill and pull those two screws out. Now I pull the cover off the foot pedal. And now you can look at the flushing mechanism. Now we have to remove this cover. And that's held by that screw right there. And that cover opens up just like a clamshell. Pretty dirty, but we got it off. I'm gonna have to get this all cleaned up. Now you can see that steel band, and that band holds two halves of a of a ring clamp that will hold the bowl onto the pedestal. And there is the, uh, the screw to loosen that band up. We're not hooked to city water, but I am turning off the water pump. All right. We're going to get this one more time. That steel band has to come off. And it's holding those two half pieces of plastic ring. And on the back, there is a 5 16 screw that you have to loosen up to uh, pull that hose clamp off, that steel band. All right, going back there. Try to get the uh, the drill with the socket. Again, five sixteenths, or you could use a flat blade. But the uh, the socket's a little uh, gets a easier hold onto the screw back there. All right, we're pulling that out. 
It's all loosened up. And drop that steel band to pull the two uh, plastic halves of the ring. The ring clamp. Pull them up. They're pretty nasty too. I'm going to have to clean them suckers up. At this point, you could lift the bowl right up off of the pedestal. So before I take this off, I'm going to show you the two gaskets from Dometic. These are brand new, ordered them off the internet. And there's two, there's a big thick rubber one. And there's a thinner one. And the, uh, the thin, that bottom one there that I'm just picking up now, actually has on one side, it says this side up. And I believe that one is made out of some kind of a silicone. And there is the model number of the part for my, my particular uh, Dometic, Dometic toilet. There are aftermarket ones you can get, but uh, I heard they're kind of cheap. And, uh, you know, just buy the, buy the original piece. It's, it's going to be the best piece for uh, for replacement. Your model may differ from this. This is the one for my particular for my particular toilet. So uh, you're going to have to look yours up on the internet just to be sure you're getting the right one. All right. So once you get that hose clamp, the steel ring off, you can pick the bowl up, move it over to that bucket, and. Uh, pretty easy to move over it takes two hands so I'm gonna have to stop the camera while I move that over to the bucket but it just picks right up and moves over okay I've got the bowl off and there's the old gasket I cleaned it up it was kind of nasty get a piece of tissue paper to pick that thing up and I've got Clorox spray there to, I'm trying to keep everything cleaned up and uh, a little bit sanitized it's a little booger to get up there, but you can pull it up. And I pulled it up and you can see the silicone gasket underneath it came up also. And that's, uh, that's all going to get tossed. There's a notch down there on the corner where you line these things up. So we're going to throw this one out. And I'm going to have to clean up that ball a little bit. There's some calcium buildup on that. All right, so this, the thin silicone seal goes on the bottom, and there's a bevel on that. It will say this side up so you'll know which side it is, but the bevel is there so when it sits on top of the ball, it'll be at the, it'll right be on the same angle as the curve. So you set it on there and you line that up, and there's that notch in the corner that I just pointed to. And then you, you do the exact same thing with the thick rubber piece. So the, those holes line up and the notches down in the corner also line up. And there you have it. Now I just move the bowl back onto the pedestal. Make sure that notch lines up with that nub. And the next step is to put the two, uh, two halves of the plastic ring around, the, uh, around where the bowl and the pedestal meet. Okay. Now I've got the both sides of the ring around the pedestal and the bowl, and then I have to 
I have to raise that steel band up and that band will squeeze those two halves of the ring together and lock the bowl onto the pedestal. And I'm going to have to set the camera down here while I, I do this. I'm putting the, uh, the nut onto the side when I first start, and then once I get it tight enough that it holds, I'll spin it to the back and finish tightening it. Tightening it. Okay, so I got the ring. That's actually a big hose clamp, but I've got that steel hose clamp band tightening those two halves of the ring together. The two plastic halves of the ring are lined up and they pull in and squeeze that bowl and pedestal back together. You can already see that it's pretty well locked. And I push the, uh, the screw around to the back where it was originally. And I'll get up there with my, get up with my drill and socket and tighten this thing down. It's an awkward area to get into, but we'll get it tightened down. And uh, don't over tighten. You don't want to break anything. So, uh, but I got it good and good and tight. Just be careful because it is plastic. You don't want to break anything. And the seal is in there. And we're going to test this before we button it on. We're going to test it before we button everything back up. So turn the water back on. I'm flushing, water's running down, close it, and it's holding water. It's filled up, and the water is not running down through it. So it's holding the water, that's what we want. Yep, it's definitely holding. You know, watch it for a bit. Make sure. Make sure that's going to hold water before you button everything back up. I was concerned because the ball had a lot of calcium buildup, but I was real careful and I, I scraped all that buildup off. I actually used the uh, cap off a of, plastic cap off a water bottle to uh, scrape it back and forth, and I threw a little vinegar on it and uh, to get it cleaned up real well so there's no scratches on it so that's really good and if this didn't hold water we would probably replace that that ball piece but it's holding water so everything's good to go right now I have to clean all that down there. I got to clean those pieces. So I am uh, clean them up with soap and water. Spray a little, uh, spray a little bleach on it, and this is going to do a put the bleach on it and get it sanitized. And this is something you can do yourself. I mean, this is this is just doing this job myself for 30 some dollars for the new gasket uh and doing the labor myself i probably saved myself over a hundred dollars by not taking it to a uh, rv repair person i took the pedestal cover after it had been cleaned and uh like a clamshell put it back around the pedestal and here is where i tightened the screw but now i put the pedal cover back on the pedal and you can see the curved piece of metal sits above those, those two screw holes right there those two screw holes right there Then you take the other side of the cover, squeeze it back into place. This is actually a, a two-handed job, um, so I'm going to have to put the camera down to actually fix that. And you 
you just have to get the screws in, but that's how it's going to line up. And I'll show you a clip here that'll just show you where the drill fastens it back together. This is the toilet all put back together. I can verify that it is still holding water several days later. Hope this, uh, I hope you found this video helpful if you have to do any work on your Dometic toilet. And thanks for watching This Old RV. This is Mark Kiefer saying happy trails. This Old RV is brought to you by people that are into fixing up their old RVs.